So I'm gonna go over dyeing feathers today just because it's what I'm doing. Hey, um, so these don't look as orange in the picture, but um, these are a dye batch I did that were equal parts um, Dharma acid dye, uh, let's see, pecan brown, teddy bear brown, and blazing orange to kind of get this reddish color, especially at the tops. This is for a golden eagle set, and if you've ever seen a golden eagle, they have very, this very beautiful reddish tone to them. So, um, so I added in, uh, the orange to try and get that. But part of the problem, um, is a lot of them have this dark tip normally like on the bird and I want more of these to have that darker tip and that this brown that you're seeing at the tip is um, the pecan brown which is more of like a purple brown and the color change is really beautiful and I want to get that a little more consistent and again you can't really see like on my camera this looks fairly just brown but um, it's pretty orange a little more orange than I wanted so what I'm gonna do is just a pecan brown um, dye batch to try and get these a little bit more brown um, towards the tips so what I'm gonna do is a little bit of a dip dye um, with these for about half an hour and we're gonna see how that turns out and I think it's gonna look pretty pretty awesome so before we do anything we are actually going to get the feathers wet now these are goose shoulder feathers from um, tonyhill.net and I'll put a link in the description um, but goose I'm sure you know is a water bird so the feathers don't like to get wet, they just kind of shed the water off for the most part. These have been dyed once, so they hold onto the water a little better, but like when you first get, let's see, this is what they look like when you first get them, they're white, and um, stay, and yeah, it just sheds the water off, nothing, nothing, so, and dry. So, what we're going to do is add soap and um, work the soap into the feathers and then rinse them so that there's no more soap in it. You don't want to dye it with soap in it, but you do want to get them wet and the soap helps um, facilitate that. And then we'll go on to the next step. Feathers are wet. Um, and what I have here is, I've only, I'm only using half a pot because I'm not going to be doing like a huge batch of feathers. Um, but basically I have about a teaspoon of Dharma Acid Dye's Pecan Brown. Pecan, again, um, is definitely a very purple brown. So if you want like brown brown, a red brown, teddy bear brown is a red brown. And um, Pecan Brown is a purple brown. I have yet to find just a nice rich chocolate brown. I always have to mix them. So anyway, what we're going to do, where's my spoon? Spoon. Um, so before doing anything else, this is just the water and the dye. Um, and I do want them all to have just a little bit more of the pecan brown in their coloration. Cause remember, I think they're just a little too orange. Um, and so I put them in, um, and douse them in the dye. I need more light. Um, and we're going to wait for, it's already warm, um, we're going to wait for this to simmer, not, well, not simmer, like just before it starts to simmer, you want it steaming hot, and then we're going to add in some vinegar. It's going to steam pretty good, I'm going to lower the heat, and every oven's different, figure out what your low, not quite a simmer temperature is, um, and then you're going to want to push your fabric, or in this case your feathers, to the side. Nope, stick. And then you're gonna put in um, some white vinegar. And you don't wanna pour the vinegar directly onto your feathers or your fabric. Um, and I don't know why, but that's what they tell me to do. So <laughs> there are instructions on the acid dye and online um, to help you get proportions right. And, um, yeah, so you put in some white vinegar, 
I put in for the one teaspoon, I put in one fourth cup. Um, yeah, and that works for me. Um, Dharma acid dye comes out um, kind of mottled on these feathers and does not work on quills. Rit dye actually works just as well. It actually comes out with a little bit more even color, I've found. Um, but it's more expensive than the Rit, so, uh, or sorry, than the Dharma. So I usually go for the Dharma. And I also really like that model color. It looks a little more realistic. Okay. So we're going to let this sit for just a minute. And then I'm going to start pulling it out for the dip dye. And I'm just going to leave the tip, uh, the tips of the feathers in so that I can get that coloration I'm looking for. So this is going to be a little wonky. But so basically what I've done here to do the dip dye is I've strung a piece of paracord because I have a thousand million yards of it. Um, across the top and what I'm going to do is pull these out and hang them on this and then I can lower and raise this um, paracord to um, basically change the depth that the feathers are being dyed in. Kind of hard to see, they're so dark, but I basically have them, just the tips, they're all wet so it is going to draw dye up a little bit, but um, I have them about an inch and a half in the water, um, and I'll be pulling them up slowly uh, throughout this process, and hopefully I get the effect I want. So I have finished with this. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks nice and light at the top and dark at the bottom. It will lighten up um, as, um, as it dries. So keep that in mind when you're dying, like whatever you're looking at is going to be a lot darker. You can even see as I'm just rinsing them. Rinse with cold water because, um, I mean, water is going to come out. Um, or I'm sorry, dye is going to come out. And it can either dry and come off on you or you can rinse it off now. So, yeah, that looks perfect. Well, we'll see when it dries. You never know. Now we're going to go hang these to dry.